In this video, we'll look at 11 through 13, which are rational expressions. 11 is dividing rational expressions. So when we're dividing rational expressions, we want to factor as much as possible and remember to change it to multiplied by the reciprocal. So in this case, 4x squared minus 1 is a difference of squares. 2x plus 1, 2x minus 1. 2x squared plus 5x minus 3 is a trinomial, so if we want to factor that, this would have to multiply to negative 6 and add to 5. So this would be 6 times negative 1. And then if we factor by grouping, 2x squared plus 6x minus 1x minus 3 is going to get factored by grouping. So the GCF here is 2x and the GCF here is negative 1. So we have a factor of x plus 3 and a factor of 2x minus 1. It's divided by this, but I'm going to change it to times the reciprocal. So the x cubed will go on the bottom. This has a factor, a common factor of x cubed, so I'll take that out. And then we're left with x plus 3. Now that everything's factored, we can co cancel common factors. So the x cubes are common, the x plus 3s are common, and the 2x minus 1s. So you're left with 2x plus 1. Let's look at number 12, which is subtracting rational expressions. <coughs> when we subtract or add fractions, we need to have a common denominator first. So in order to identify the common denominator, we can factor the second denominator here. This would be x minus 7, x plus 3. So now it's clear here that this first fraction is missing a factor of x plus 3. So we're going to go ahead and multiply this by x plus 3 and multiply the top by x plus 3. Now we have a common denominator, which is x plus 3, x minus 7. And I can combine the fractions, x plus 3 minus 10. <coughs> Excuse me. Combining these, combining like terms would be x minus 7 in the numerator, x plus 3, x minus 7 in the denominator. And then we can simplify. So these cancel, and we're left with 1 over x plus 3. Number 13 is a complex fraction. Complex because it has one larger fraction with fractions inside. So let's look at one portion of this at a time. Let's look at the numerator, which is this subtraction problem. 1 over x minus 1 minus 1 over 2x squared minus 2x. So when we're subtracting these, we need a common denominator. So I'm going to rewrite this second fraction with a factored denominator, 2x, quantity x minus 1. And then we can see that this fraction is missing a factor of 2x. So this would be multiplied by 2x, and the top would be multiplied by 2x. Now that we have a common denominator of 2x, quantity x minus 1, I can combine these. So this is 2x minus 1, and then in the denominator, I have 2x times the quantity x minus 1. So right now, I'm done simplifying the numerator. So we'll hold on to this. And then now let's look at this denominator. x plus 3 over 2x squared minus 2x. The only thing that can be done here is to factor the denominator. So let's go ahead and just look at what we got in the numerator, 2x minus 1 over 2x times x minus 1. I'm dividing by x plus 3 over, this can be factored, GCF of 2x, and then x minus 1. So I have this simpler division problem here. If I rewrite this as a multiplication problem, this would be the numerator multiplied by the reciprocal of this, since it's currently divided by. So times, if I flip this fraction, it would be 2x, x minus 1, and then x plus 3. Simplifying this, we can cancel the 2x, 
we can cancel the x minus 1, and we're left with 2x minus 1 over x plus.